Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Star Trek Online. So I wasn't originally expecting to be able to go and actually record this for this week because of some things that came up that prevented me from recording. Uh, but those, uh, I've actually rather, I've ended up with the house to myself at least for an hour or so. I'm hoping that's long enough to go and do the next mission uh, out in the cold. We've lost contact with two transports en route to the other colonies. There are more than 400 Deferi on those vessels, and with the rising threat from the Breen, I fear the worst. Their last known location was near VZA 4001, and I suggest that you start your search there. The Breen have no compunction against attacking civilian ships. We seek peace with the Breen, as we do well with all beings, but they answer our offers of friendship with death and destruction. Find our ships, if there are any survivors. Please bring them home early. If this is the mission I think it is, I fucking hate it. As a result, I'm gonna go pull up the wiki. <laughs> I can't stand this mission personally. Again, that's assuming I'm remembering correctly what mission this is. Uh, out in the cold. Oh no. It doesn't look like it actually is the mission I think it is. But I think it is a very short one. This might be a very short part. Or I might do two uh, episodes. I don't know. We'll see. It must be the next mission that I'm not a fan of. Uh, yes, it's the next mission, Cold Comfort. I hate Cold Comfort. And this is taking its sweet ass time to load. There we go. Sir, we are receiving an emergency distress signal from the Deferi Freighter Sabak. I'm patching it through with, to the main view screen now, sir. To all ships in range, this is the Deferi Freighter Sabak. We are under attack and require immediate assistance. We have no weaponry aboard and our shields are failing. Anyone who can hear this, please help. It must be one of the Breen raiding parties that we were warned about, sir. If we don't get there fast, there won't be anyone left aboard to save. I've located the Sabak by tracing their distress signal, sir. And we can engage on your command. Let's go ahead and engage. <clears throat> uh, we have made some slight modifications to the uh, ship again, uh, namely the actual um, neck, rather. But we'll continue with those after I deal with these guys. Face maneuver so I can actually move. You know what, let's push them back. Uh, but yes, as I said, we made some slight modifications to the ship. Um, we've like actually added a neck. <laughs> Previously, the cell sort of looked like it was basically just floating on the hull. Um, and changing the neck has resulted in a bit of an addition right in front of the deflector dish. Thank you for saving us. Our sister ship, the Pacto, I'm guessing, was waylaid by Breen Raiders at our scheduled rendezvous point. We made a micro warp jump as soon as the Breen arrived and used the magnetic field of the comet to hide our energy signature, but the Breen had better sensors than we do. They found us. If we hadn't come or if you hadn't come along when you did, we would have been obliterated. I'm worried about the Breen being at our next stop, so I'm gonna try and get there ahead of schedule and be gone before they arrive. If you could, please find the Pacto. They were or there were dozens of people aboard that ship. 
This is the Deferi ship Pacto. We escaped from a Breen slaver attack and our antimatter containment unit and warp coils are non-functional. Non uh, we need some replacement parts immediately. We're on the edge of a warp core breach. Is there any ship in range? Please, we need help. Okay, uh, now we gotta turn around though. Don't worry, they're not actually in any immediate threat. <laughs> because of the way this game is designed. There's no timer or anything. I could take an hour to get there and they'd still be perfectly fine. Well, I guess you could explain it away as saying, oh, well, that's just how long it took for the... It would have taken longer than that to have the warp core breach. Sir, there are Breen ships inbound at warp 7, two waves from the looks of it. The first should be on top of us in a few seconds. Battle stations. Yep. Oh, and it's a warship. I have to fight one ship rather than three. That's fine. I would prefer if it turned with me more. <laughs> okay, and next wave. Um, oh, there we go. Uh, okay, don't know what the hell happened to my torpedo spread. I clicked it, and it's gone on to a one minute long timer. Thank you for your fortune assistance. We should be fine from here. I want to catch up with our sister ship, the Sabak. They fled at the first sight of the Breen Raiders. We heard some of the slavers who attacked us talking about the Zarya system. If you want to take care of the Breen Menace for good, you might want to start by looking for them there. Course laid in for the Zarya system, sir. Looks like there is nothing of interest, just a broken planetoid. The system scans the Deferi provided are fairly out of date though, so something may have changed. Standing by to engage on your command, sir. <clears throat> and I'm not going to have to actually fly there. Luckily, it's not too far away, though. Now, granted, they normally don't do that. They normally put the missions so far away. And continue Cracked Core. Okay, this is basically the chapter of Out in the Cold. Uh, this is the one where you have to beam down and save prisoners. Or, well, imprisoned Defiri, rather. To a degree, this mission's kind of trying to 
teach you some of the dailies that you can do for the Defiri to get predominantly to lithium, really. I kind of feel like that's what this mission space is trying to teach you. Is how to go about saving a Defiri freighter, how to go here and rescue imprisoned Defiri. Sir, the destroyed planet has a dilithium rich core. It looks like the Breen have set up a mine inside the remains of the planetoid in true to form. They're using all the captured Defiri as slave labor. We'll have to defeat the Breen picket squadrons before we can beam down to the mine. It looks like there is only a small force, sir. Of course there's only a small force. They probably didn't expect anybody to come here. Which is a little silly because if this is an important place, they probably should have planned around somebody coming here. stealing from us and we're stealing from them. Shields down. Keep their shields down. There we go. <clears throat> Let's go take care of this cruiser now. Fire those off, they'll do some damage. I think it's only like 5% or something though. Of shield and damage that they do. But it's better than nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Turn quickly. I didn't do as much as I was hoping for. Oh, and we aggroed another group. Wonderful. Face maneuvers. Let's try and finish this guy off. Come on. another cruiser that we have to deal with. <clears throat> oh no, it's another group of three. them off.
That's the last of the scout squadrons, sir. I thought they were... Okay, whatever. Sure, scout squadrons. Whatever you want to call them, I guess. Unfortunately, we can't just beam up the Defiri. The Breen have some sort of transporter disruptor field in place. We need to get down there and disable it before we can rescue the Defiri slave laborers. Okay. Sir, sensors are showing that the Breen are using three separate transporter disruptors. We will need to knock out those disruptors before we can transport any of the prisoners back to the Odin. The transport disruptors appear to be specifically key to the Fury physiology. That would allow the Breen to beam in and out at will, but the prisoners would be trapped. It also explains why our transporter signal wasn't disrupted. We will need to neutralize any Breen guard groups inside as well. We can't risk any unexpected Breen technology that might interfere with our rescue operation. You know, the fact that they have it set to where only the Defiri can't get out is a little silly. I mean, the way I would have designed it is that only they would be allowed in and out at ease. Or, well, at will, rather. Uh, but sure, if they want to do it this way to allow humans to be able to just go in and out as they please, oh well. get out of the cryo-grenade. It's not actually hurting as much as it normally does though. A little weird. <clears throat> normally those things practically one-shot bridge officers. At least that's my experience in the past. Oh, shit. I was right in the center of it. Uh, one of our guys is down. Anyone can get Finn up? Somebody go get Finn up. Go! Oh, okay, I'm gonna do it myself then. You guys wanna be incompetent? So be it. Two of you are staying right next to Finn's body. Could have easily gone and gone them back up. Let's deactivate it. For whatever reason, we're not blowing it up. We're just pressing some buttons to deactivate. I would have expected us to blow it up, you know, that way the Breen have to outright replace the whole thing. Maybe that's just me that thinks that would have made more sense. I mean, I assume they already know that there are people here. Something green. Ah, science kit. That's worthless. And I'm supposed to be frozen. Yeah, sometimes those graphics don't properly show up. It's not a big issue, but yeah, I noticed it in the past. Okay. And let's get that last transporter inhibitor. We're not going to scan the gas, and now we just got to deal with the last group of Breen Slave Masters. Go ahead and get the Defiri out of here. That's all the disruptors and guards, sir. Um, picking up a new contact aboard the station, we may have aroused the curiosity of the Breen commander. We should move, or we, eh, we should make sure the Defiri have beamed away safely before investigating this new threat. Okay. 
Yep, looks like they're all gone. Let's inspect to make sure they're not invisible or something. We have confirmation that all bring or uh, all the Fury prisoners have transported safely. We are clear to return. You are the one known as Kissick. I was expecting someone more impressive. After all, Thought to Win was one of my most reliable veterans. Defeating him must have pushed you to your limits. I'd like to say that I am looking forward to meeting you in person, but because I expect Thought Gran to end your life here, I'm afraid that won't be possible. You've been interesting, but ultimately insignificant. Farewell. Not want to roll game. Sometimes you're a little too sensitive when it comes to the roll functionality that, like, nobody ever uses because <laughs> generally it doesn't have much use. That's it. Now that we've taken care of the officer in charge, this entire mining operation should fall apart. But who sent that message? Thought Trell? Could he be who is behind all of the problems that the Fury are having? We'll need to look into this in more detail, sir. Why would you assume taking out the officer in charge would result in the operation falling apart? They can e Presumably it shouldn't be too hard to replace them <laughs> and restart the operation. But sure, we'll assume that's going to fall apart now. Starfleet should be able to send patrols to ensure that the Breen don't set up shop here again, or perhaps the Fury will establish a lithium mine here themselves. We can leave whenever you're ready, sir. There. Okay, that makes it more likely that the operation will fall apart. Especially if we send patrols here. The survivors are on their way home and we will be sending an expedition out to assess the viability of operating the mine ourselves. I think it would be wise to consider a joint operation with your government. The resources in the Zarya system are rare and the best way to maintain the balance may be to share them with you. Thank you for all of your assistance. Your actions help to preserve the balance. I just want to note, Ambassador, if you want to maintain the balance, you're also going to have to share them with the Romulans and the Klingons. <laughs> Only sharing them with the Federation isn't really doing much to maintain the balance. Let's be honest here. You're going to have to find a way to split that stuff four ways. But whatever, if he wants to try and split it two ways, expecting that to maintain the balance, so be it. And we get the Breen Transphasic Cluster Torpedo which is an infinite level thing and we'll never use it because I don't really see a reason to. I'll probably just toss it in my bank. I really don't have to though, to be honest. I'm never going to use it. I could just as, easy, yeah, just as easily destroy it. And if I ever feel like I want it, I can just come back and redo the mission. But nah, I'll just toss it in the bank. I got tons of space in there. But that is going to be it for this part. I will see you all in the next one. I do want to go ahead and let you all know, though, um, the channel, I, I don't want to remonetize it right now. I'd rather not have to try and rely on YouTube ad revenue for um, allowing the channel to at least cover some of its cost. <clears throat> uh, so I'd appreciate it if you enjoy the content of the channel, if you would go and become a patron. Even if it's just at the $1 a month tier, it helps a lot. Well, it adds up over time, and so in the end, it helps a lot. Initially, not as much. <clears throat> so, yeah. I'll see you all in the next part. Link to my Patreon down in the description if you wish to become one. Like I said, if you enjoy the content of the channel, it's really helpful if you become one. Even if it's just at the $1 a month tier. It adds up. Especially as more and more people do it, it adds up more and more, obviously. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, so yes, I'll see you all, like I said, in the next part. But until then, a goodbye and farewell.